This should be a highly compelling matchup here tonight. The Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu Black Belt believes he has definite advantages when it comes to the grappling, and uh, there's no questioning his ground game. He'll pull guard, whatever it takes. You know what I love about him is that for as good as he is in the Jiu-Jitsu, he's more Jacare than Andre Galvão. Because Andre Galvão was a tremendous grappler, but it never translated. Jacare was able to get enough striking to make him more dangerous. That's this guy. This guy can strike just enough to make you take notice, and then he takes you down. Once you're down, you're in trouble. He's a tremendous fighter, a tremendous grappler, but fighter just enough to make you have to respect that stand. And still in terms of the training, focused on the jiu-jitsu maintenance, right? Obviously, the striking improvements have been prioritized, but maintaining the high-level jiu-jitsu that got him to the big show. the tape for this heavyweight fight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> So Herb Dean, third man in there for this one. Well, for all the places we go in the world, few can hold up to this one. Good evening from T-Mobile Arena here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Opened April of 2016. UFC went there for the first time at UFC 200, and they were bringing big shows seemingly every other month ever since. They call Vegas the fight capital of the world. And if you're talking about a home base for the UFC, you're talking about T-Mobile Arena, home to some of the biggest UFC events ever. UFC 200, Conor McGregor versus Khabib Nurmagomedov. The double leg. Oh, seamless transition to half guard there. Unbelievable how quickly he was able to slice that leg through to get to the half guard. That dark choke is tight. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth, but the submission defense wins this transition. And he's able to work his way back to his feet. Right hand over the top. I mean, is this thing on repeat? How many times can you say punch to the head? Nice. Nicely done. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook, he's got the far side post. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. Good early sign for Damian Maya. Oh, oh, what goes up must come down as he slams him right on the canvas. Huge moment in the round. It excites me to watch somebody land those types of techniques. The impact of that slam takedown 
was felt at the desk and in the first couple rows. Maya gets hit with that hook. That one had some pop behind it. Under three minutes to go in round one. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Staying busy in the clinch, lands a nice punch there. He's got to start kicking, kicking the body, kicking the head. He's just got to start kicking. Great job moving into his opponent and getting to that single cow time. Oh, second like guilty. Had the submission in very tight, but as it started to slip, he went right back to the dominant position. Right inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here, too. He's got that arm triangle. Watch him pass to the opposite side. It looks real tight. He'll drop his weight to try to finish his technique. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and it showed in that defense. Champ, these submission setups aren't that bad, but he keeps getting denied. Yeah, because he's not panicking. He's taking his time. He knows what to do whenever something is coming in his direction. It's beautiful. Stop, stop. It's beautiful to watch a guy comfortable even when he's under attack. Let's fight. Come on. And just misses with that big right hand. Touches him with that left punch. 90 seconds to go. Back to the left hand now. Unable to connect. Yes, the single collar tie now. And he comes through with a big knee. Fighters separate from the clinch now. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping his guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Less than a minute to go in the round. Choi's able to switch his stance here. We'll see how the defense responds. Look at the good action that comes from him throwing that kick. Gets it close and gets that single collar tie locked in tight. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by the Korean Super Bowl. And there's the single leg. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Beautiful transition. Good work from the top here by Maya. Oh, staying busy from top position. He lands another ground strike there. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's going to stop. The oh, better oh. start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hips, push him away, and try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Listen, your kicks are working. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1-level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. Ready to fight. Ready. Second round underway. Right hook to the head, but cash money with that right hand counter. Oh, that is a furious inside leg kick. You ever taken like a five finger to the inside of your leg? That don't feel good. Never mind a kick like a that. Full, I mean, slapping your leg hurts. Imagine someone this size kicking you with his shin in the inside of your leg. You cannot take many of those kicks. <laughs> Good lead right by Choi. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Straight right hand now just misses. Oh, nice hook by the Korean Super Bowl. Hard shots landing on both sides here. And now he's got the back.
referee, and Superboy gets back up. Postures up and lands a brutal strike to the head. These ground strikes are starting to add up. Full guard now, DC. For the top fighter, you gotta be very careful because most submissions come from the full guard. So advance to half. Try to build posture. But if you're the bottom person, the moment your opponent tries to move to the next position, build a shield. Kick off the hips and get back to your feet. Joy gets back up. Just over three minutes to go now. Cliff's on the elbow. So a much different approach from him here in round two. It took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Nice punch land over the top. Just missed with the left there. Effective jab there by Choi. Nice combination, yeah. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Different round in the striking clinic continues. Shades of Max Holloway back in the day against Calvin Slater. Every strike he has thrown suddenly is final to I mean, it's landing. Everything is landing, J.A. And coming into this fight, he understood that he had an advantage in this particular skill. I don't know if he could have even expected it to be this vast as we have seen to this point in the fight. Oh, nice slip there. It sounds simple, right? Hit and don't get hit, but this guy's defense has been sharp tonight. Cad Mouse, you gotta play Cad Mouse. Hit, don't get hit. He does a great job of that. Well, that calf is starting to show signs of losing now. And you can tell in the way that he's walking. It's starting to take an effect. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Oh, nice jab to the head by Choi. All right, so another takedown here for Damian Maya. And more often than not, when this guy's able to take you down, he is able to take you where he wants and eventually transition to the back. Nice block. Punch went nowhere. Stuffs the takedown, no problems. There's the jab, there's another one. So the double jab is there by Maya. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Gotta be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Choi's attempt there is blocked by the opponent. Under 20 seconds now to go. Goes upstairs with the kick. Final seconds here of round two. Two rounds in the books. All right, heading back to the corner, and Maya's corner looks a little bit concerned, perhaps because of that cut on the lip that was opened up there in that round. Starting to bleed pretty good. Cutman's got his work to do now. All right, let us re-rack some replays of the damage done in that round, see if we can isolate the strike that caused the cut. Yeah, a nasty cut opens up when he lands there. It's a beautiful shot that gets to the target. He has not been responsible defensively, and he's really paying for it because now he's dealing with that nasty cut. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high
high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Nice jab by Choi. Big shot to the body. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Shot lands to the legs. Maya's right torso starting to bruise pretty good here. Take it for a ride. Nice double look. Nice finish. Maya's able to make a nice transition there back into side control. Oh, could get a finish soon. Looks like a dart choke. Oh, he's in trouble. Oh, how about that? He gives up on the submission. Looked pretty tight to me. All right, this is not where you want to be. You don't want to be on your belly with your opponent on your back, flattening you out. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Maya. Oh, his ground and pound is on full display here tonight. He's working on the armbar. What a tight armbar. Great submission defense. All right, north south position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. Nice transition. Choice in half guard. Well, you know he's comfortable fighting off his back. Oh, crowd just loving it as the fighters, after an extended grappling battle, make their way back to the feet. Yeah, they're back on their feet. They spent a lot of energy on the ground. Though. These guys are going back and forth on the ground, and ultimately, he's gotten back to his feet to give himself an opportunity. Nice positional control here. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Maya. Another one. I mean, he cannot miss from the top position. Oh my goodness, he might have it. Oh, look pretty tight, but he gives up on the submission. He's a lot of good movement. Maya's in half goal. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jujitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. The guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. Look at the bone here. Oh. Posture's up now and lands a devastating strike to the head. Oh, and another punch on the ground gets through. May need some defense here. Maya's trying to get a triangle here. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. How in the world did he escape that submission? Well, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Maya's back in full guard now. The ground strikes continue to pile up. about that transition to top position. Beautiful work by Maya. Nicely done. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where Maya's looking for a Darce choke here. Oh my goodness, that Darce choke is very tight. Darce choke locked in, it's only a matter of time, but he cannot rush. He's gotta control his opponent so that he doesn't lose him in the scramble. It's a fight now. Who's gonna win this position? Oh. Oh, how tight is that Darce choke now? Oh, he's out! Oh, right into Miles. Final seconds of the round. He needs to better move. move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. Stop, and that'll stop, do it. Stop. 15 minutes in the books. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see 
these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Fourth round, fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. Oh, beautiful right hook counter. Good block there. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, big elbow. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. Nice counter jab up top by Maya. That was great head movement. Takedown defense holds up. Right now they separate. Pretty good straight punch there by Maya. There's that patented single. Maya's in half court. Oh, now he's attacking his arm triangle. Oh, that arm triangle's wicked tight. He's starting to get it in very deep. It looks like the arm triangle's getting very close. Now he's got to get off to the side, drop his chest to the mat, and get the finish. He's got it. He's got it. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get subbed. Choice pass attempt denied. Might be a submission attempt here, champion. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. And he's back to his feet. Good sign for him there. Just misses with the left hook. Just over three minutes to go. Nice, solid punch to end. Takedown defense is there. Now goes to the uppercut. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing stroke. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. They're landed on both sides in that exchange. All right, so another ringing jab right there, snapping his head back like a Pez dispenser. You can tell he was a former boxer. Yeah, absolutely. You can tell that that is his base. The way that he throws the jab is fundamentally sound. He does it like he was trained to do it as a young boy. And right now, behind that jab, he finds himself ahead. Nice eyes on the defensive side. Single collar tie there. Now he pulls guard right into a triangle here. We've seen him pull guard, and he's now attempting a triangle choke, which is absolutely insane. Choi's looking to pass here, denied by the opponent. Oh, you better tap or that thing's gonna snap. He's got it isolated. It's right. you up. We need to work. Side control now. Change of the position. Now he's going full mount. Really maximizing his shots here on the ground. Again, not much defense there. Another ground strike gets through. Oh, submission attempts in bunches tonight. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. This has got to be the end of the fight. There's the guy. Oh, my goodness. Takes the judges out of it. Gets the finish. <laughs> Man. So what a win for him here tonight. He gets it done and gets it done by way of submission. He told us this week, I got to keep these judges out of it. Mission accomplished. Absolutely. He is a phenomenal grappler. He said that he held the advantage there, and that would show itself in the fight. He proved that. 
and he gets a submission victory. Amazing. We send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 10 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by tap out, Demian Maia! All right, so congratulations to Damian Maia, one of the best fighters ever produced out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, and still getting it done now, well past his 40th birthday. And it really is interesting because the opposition seemingly knows what's coming, and yet more often than not, no welterweight in the world is able